Welcome y'all, West DIY Food Plot Pro. Thanks for joining us. We're out in alfalfa plot. As we all know, alfalfa is a plot that really likes the pH to be high. It needs to be 6.5 to that seven range. But most all food plots, whether it's brassicas, corn, soybeans, clovers, do better with a higher pH in that six to seven range. Unfortunately for most of us, we don't have soils that are in that range, which means we have to add lime to these soils to get them to be able to produce the highest quality and the best food plots that we can get them to produce. So today I want to talk about when is the best time for us to put agricultural lime on these food plots. Now, a lot of times we see the farmers that are doing this in the fall. You know, they get through with harvest and we see these lime trucks spreading across the field. We think, okay, all of a sudden fall's the best time to do it. And the thing of it is for, for me, when I'm talking about my food plots, I don't wanna be on my farms in the fall. I don't wanna go in a ton in September, October, November and be spreading a bunch of lime out here. Now, timing wise, that makes a lot of sense, right? Because that's, we all know that lime takes you know, six months to a year to really start changing that pH of that soil. So if you did it in September, October, November, by the next growing season, by next spring, your pH should be on the rise at that point. So it makes a lot of sense to do it during that time frame because by the next following spring, you're gonna be, your plots are already going to have that pH change and they're gonna be healthier throughout the entire year because of that. But as whitetail hunters, you know, that timing for us doesn't make as much sense. Was, like I said, we don't want to be on these farms out here spreading our scent around all over our food plots in September, October, November. We want to be hunting. We don't want to be thinking about food plots at that point. When we're talking about adding lime to a food plot, how much do we need to put? This is pretty much a standard across most soils is 2,000 pounds of agricultural lime brings your soil pH up one point, okay? So if you're at 5.0, you add 2,000 pounds of ag lime, you're gonna be at 6.0 uh, within a year, 18 months. Great thing about ag lime is that's gonna last for three or four years a lot of times. So it's kind of a gradual increase and a gradual decrease back to your soil's natural pH. So a lot of times we can get away with lime and heavy. We usually try to put two ton of lime per acre agricultural lime. So my soil, natural soil pH is around 5.3 roughly. And so I'm going, I'm shooting for two ton an acre to get that to around seven, 7.3. So I know that over a three, a two, three year period, I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna get up to that seven range and then I'm gonna start working back down. I know within three or four years, I'm gonna to need to add more lime. So there is a maximum number of, of pounds that you need to add for your soils every year. If your natural soil pH is three and a half, you cannot go out and add all that lime in one year and expect for that soil pH to go from 3.5 to seven in one year. It's not gonna happen. That's gonna be a multi-year process for you probably over a, a full year. I would, if you had something like that, I would start whenever you could. And then I would try to add some more nine to 12 months later to go ahead and lime that again. Getting back to the timing of lime, the best time to lime food plots is whenever you have the time to do it. But whenever you can get out there to lime is when you need to do it. Is it January, February after your season's over with? That's great. Is it April or May right before you plant one of your food plots? That's fine. Is it June, July before your fall food plots? That's wonderful. Anytime you can add a lime is when you need to add ag lime. It's one of those things that the worse you procrastinate with it, the longer it's gonna take for you to be able to see the benefits from it. Don't worry about trying to time that out just get it on as quick as you possibly can with whatever means you possibly can. I have spread a pile of this stuff with a three point spreader on a tractor. Does it work well? No, not really, but it works. I was able to spread this entire alfalfa field with lime back in the summer with a three point hitch on a, a three point spreader on a tractor. And it, it worked out reasonably well. I mean, it wasn't the most fun thing in the world, shoveling lime into that three point spreader, but it worked and it worked fine. 
any which way you can get ag lime out there on your soil, that's what you need to do whenever you can possibly get it done. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Smash that like and subscribe button.